what's going on everyone this is the rules here and while it's still not super dark yet I'm gonna make this video you know the fuck I'm gonna talk about things that piss me off and today I'm gonna talk about the music industry okay controlled by this satanic masonic people okay so music industry what pisses me off like today in this day and age and even Filka brought it up that in Rapun for example right like um before rappers were like gangsters you know they're like yo 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 fuck you they were talking about the problems of like community like people talk about problems and struggles and music had like soul in it right like people were really doing what they want they were enjoying and now it's so like ta 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 la 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 no bad words no emotions and see like i like bad words in music why why i like when people swear because the way i look at it, the bad language and the bad words in general the reason why i like that people put them down sometimes is because it shows like emotion shows like how strong the emotions are that's why people put their words like music is strong emotion strong and you know you can feel it you know through music like people's feelings and stuff and um, now there's no strong emotion now it's just like music music just to shake your ass it's just some bullshit you know just music to shake your ass like I said before bullshit and no real emotion no bad words but it's all about like getting some ass and this is like you know I feel like our society too are getting kind of primitive like it really sucks. People are just all about like getting drunk, getting high, getting some ass, doing drugs. It's just bullshit. You know? And before people were really talking about issues, but they're all there. Look, like all the influential people who are trying to change the world for the best, who are going against New World Order, order they're all dead. For example, Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina, they're dead. Whitney Houston, she was a good musician, you know, she was a good singer and she is dead. She died under unknown circumstances. People say that she committed suicide, but then again, this is questionable. Bobby Christina, she didn't commit suicide, somebody put her face down the toilet, so she almost died and then she was in coma for six months and uh, July 26 she died it's recent ones Eminem he didn't die but it's because he sold he sold to David so he just like he became kind of puppy you know he stopped cutting he stopped like questioning things but trust me like when he was um, you know the same Eminem with whom I like back in like let's say 99 2000 2001 Ryan, he was the way he was. What happened next with him? Drug problems, right? He almost died. He was talking about crying, talking about woman putting finger up his ass. And he was saying that she's like satanic bitch or whatever. He was like really going hysterical. And then he was going to drugs. And then end of the day, he's like 40 years old. He's like, okay, whatever. I want to do music. He let me play along with this motherfucker. You know, but then he was younger and he was like angry. And see what's going on with his life with Eminem too. His family life is fucked up. His daughter should grow up and he just like whatever. He just like does whatever, you know, like there's nothing there. And he doesn't have a family. And when he was starting, like at first he had a family, but then because of all this bullshit with the fame, it actually destroyed his family and all, so it's really... It's really not good on what happened to him. Now, going back... Going back in American music, okay? Rappers from the uh, 90s, easy got shot you know and um, who else um, a lot of them actually I saw the video 
the result of the rappers got shot Tupac, Biggie, they all got shot too they were like really great rappers, they were really good, you know they were doing the music how they wanted, gangster rap a lot of classes, they say what they want really, the music had meaning, it was not only about pussy and bitches and all and uh, what happened to them, right? they all got shot under unknown circumstances going back 80s John Lennon John Lennon got killed again under unknown circumstances and the guy was nice, you know Beatles is a good group, they were making nice music and just died like that and then going even back further 70s, that was like especially early 70s Jimi Hendrix Janet Jumplin, Jim Morrison Sid Vicious, Nancy Spongeon all these people died under unknown circumstances and the people were doing good music everybody talked good about them and they all died under unknown circumstances people saying they committed suicide but I don't believe in that I think they all probably were murdered even though Nancy Spongeon was saying oh I'm not gonna make it till 21 and Sid Vicious saying I'm not gonna make it till 25 but the truth of the matter is that these people were meant to die young because and they were meant to be on drugs because they were depressed and they were against the world order, you know they were doing what they wanted to do and I don't think it's all because of drugs too, but like I think that sometimes all these not only satanic people, they just put people on drugs you know, that's what I'm thinking this, a lot of these musicians, they were put on drugs, they were not any drug is at first, but they were put on drugs and they <coughs> people created a bad image for themselves like look, all these good musicians and stuff their drug is and drugs help them with their music and stuff because without it they can't produce anything they need doping in order to be great bullshit I heard about it and then you know another thing, the mysteries of people's deaths like it's a rush in the US, it happens all over the world I'm just talking about American musicians because they are world famous and because my audience is mostly American so if I'm gonna talk about Russian musicians who die sudden death like that they, they're not gonna know who they are so uh, that's why I'm only talking about American musicians right now um, but yeah, they died sudden death it's just because they didn't do what the satanic masonic uh, managers wanted them to do so they decided to get rid of all these people because they were doing what they want and they were exposing the Illuminati and all these assholes, you know and they like, these people are dangerous, let us kill them because if you're not gonna kill them you're gonna be in trouble so that's why uh, these musicians they were killed and now the people who do what they want they either being ignored, smeared or they being killed if the masses know about them that's probably why like I'm probably never gonna be popular on YouTube because there are some people who say like Emil you made genius you know I wonder why you never got viral shit because I got a lot of trolls on my ass and I'm kind of losing it too, you know, like I'm losing the passion a little bit and because I just I just feel like the world is changing but it seems like the world is changing for better but no I think the world is changing for the worse because music sucks, everything sucks everything is just losing its soul people are getting primitive a bunch of idiots and everywhere and it just, it just sucks, you know, it's just my opinion it just fucking sucks the world just sucks these days like old school the way things were like in 2000 in the 80s and the 90s was much better now the world is turning into shit and people are just turning into idiots and airheads and assholes by the way who just don't know anything about life they just listen to some bullshit and they're fucking idiots you know this is where the world's coming to and you know life just getting worse for real before it was bad 
I want old school, baby. 